Hello, please welcome to this brand new series. In this playlist, we will look at PL300 Power BI Real Certification Questions. Please hit the subscribe button to stay tuned to get alerts for many more such informative contents. Let's jump into the questions. The question is simple. There are two Excel tables, which are those, these, and these. Okay. So we have one which is customer, the other is address. Okay. Now, mind you, the both the customer and the address tables they have unique records. Okay. Now, what is the ask here? Is the final output should have one row per customer, and it should contain city, state. That is whatever the address fields it should contain those and the question is quizzing you around which one option out of these four you got to choose see if you are from a bi world or a database world this question is a piece of cake so the first option it says you got to merge the customer and address tables See, if you are writing a SQL query, what would you do? You would do a join, most likely in this case, an inner join. In Power BI, we call joins as merge. So this should give us the desired output. Now, option B suggests to use group. See, the thumb rule for group is always if you got to apply a summation or a min max some kind of aggregate functions in the select queries think in terms of sql queries the question here is not talking about aggregation if you see here there is no word mentioned about aggregation and hence b is wrong now c talks about transpose transpose would convert the rows to columns and vice versa in any bi tool like power bi cognos tableau and so on you have this feature of uh, doing a transpose if you think it is a good way to represent your data visually does this question have a pain point of visual representation of the data? No. Hence, this option is wrong. Now, option D talks about append. Append is like union or union all in terms of SQL. You can only use if there are a lot of similarities in the table structures or the metadata of the tables. What I mean here is if you see customer tables here, table has different fields than address. Hence, option D would be wrong. So this is my final answer. Let's move to the next question. You have a Power BI report and it is fetching the data from a Microsoft Excel. And this Excel is residing on SharePoint. So the question is very simple. Which type of data source should you use? So let's start from the bottom. Now, a common mistake people make is a bi is connecting to excel so why can't i use excel workbooks see this excel is on sharepoint and your data source is sharepoint so it has to be something linked with sharepoint if i see options a to d i only have this one which is linked to sharepoint so option b would be the answer data flow is not a data source okay so this answer is wrong because data flow is just a collection of tables in the Power BI workspace. It is not 
treated as a data source. Data set is a collection of data that you can connect and bring it to Power BI. So it is kind of once you connect to a data source and once you import that data, that is called data set. So technically data set is not a data source. So this is my final answer. Let us look at this question. So in this question, it is a simple question. You have a BI report that needs to connect to a project management app. This app has been hosted on Teams and it was developed using Power Apps. So the pain point is you need to choose a connector. Now our first reaction is I will uh, look at Teams and should I just use connectors for Teams? Let us explore this. Now the beauty is Teams, if you talk about personal analytics, it is not something which exists readily. You can uh, connect Power BI to Teams, but I could not spot anything which is linked to personal analytics. So this would be the wrong answer. Now we already know data flows. It is a collection of tables inside the Power BI workspace. So you do not need connectors. The data flow is not a connector, is not a data source as well. So this is the wrong answer. Now let us look at Dataverse. I think there is a movie called Brahmastra where the director Ayan is talking about Astraverse. So it is kind of collection of all the different types of weapons under one umbrella. Similarly, Dataverse is also a collection of different types and source of data collected together in a single place. Now you might ask why do we need a data words? The reason for that is, see, whenever we have a BI application connecting to these project management apps or similar apps, it will put a load on these apps when so many people would run reports. So we don't want to do that in order to avoid creating that load we create a data verse so this is the right answer see with option b sql server i don't know for sure that the project management app is using sql server uh, under the hood so i cannot comment and hence b is wrong so this would be my final answer so just a side talk in case you have watched this movie. Hope you liked it. Hello, let's look at the next question. That is question four. Just in case you feel fall asleep, please wake up. So you have two databases, one and two, and both of them have same tables and columns. So for each database, you are creating a query that retrieves the data from the customer table. Now what happens is both of them, this and this has customer tables you want to bring them into a single table okay and you want to minimize the size of the data model and support schedule refresh what should you do the first one the first one says what option to use to combine the customer tables you remember what is the difference between append and merge merge is just equivalent to your joins in sql queries okay and appends are just like your union clause in your sequels so what would you do? You have two databases with the same tables and columns. So this is a perfect case for append and not merge. So that that's why these two options are wrong. Now out of append queries and queries as new, which one would you select? So if you see append queries, if you are creating, you already have a query and you are trying to append something to that, then you can use append queries. But in this case, you do not have any query available because the question doesn't say so. This question here doesn't say so. Okay, so that means you are creating this query from scratch. That's why the append queries as new would be the right answer because you are creating this query from scratch for the first time using append. What will you append? The customer table from both the databases. 
Now the second question asks about what is the action you would perform on the original two database SQL queries. You had a query here and you had a query here. What will you do about these? Will you delete those queries? Will you duplicate those queries? So duplication is wrong because what will you do by creating a duplicate query? So this is wrong because you want to create a, an option where you reduce, you reduce, you minimize the load on the data model. That's what the question asks. Minimize the size of the data model. If you want to minimize the size of the data model, you got to disable the loading the query to the data model. That's how you will minimize the size. Now you might say, why don't I just delete the queries? Why the hell I need to disable the load? Because my friend, the queries are still needed. If you delete the query, your table and the fields will be dropped. You need the query, but you don't want that data to be loaded to the data model to minimize the size of the data model. Why are we doing this? Otherwise, customer table will be loaded twice. You, you would not be making the efficient use of the data model. So that's why delete the query is the wrong option. So this would be my final answer. Now let's jump to the next question. So you have uh, three different kind of queries, one for product category, the other for product subcategory and third is for product. Okay. So I have created boxes. Now each product has a sub product category. So this is each product has a product subcategory and each sub product category has a parent category. That means uh, it, it is not an orphan. These two are linked for each parent can have multiple child. That means this can be one is too many. Okay. And this can be one is too many as like many is to one because one product subcategory can have multiple products in that subcategory. Okay. A lot of talking. What is the ask? The ask is to merge the three queries into a single query. And you want the best performance. You got to merge the tables. Merge means join in terms of sql merge equals join so now this is the option you got to choose what you got to do is fill these two boxes so product and product subcategory so you got a product and you got a product subcategory but what did we say so every product has a product subcategory so that is kind of one is to one one is to one every product will have a product category so i would build an inner join here i would use inner this one and between product subcategory and product category what it says is not every product subcategory has a parent category that means this is what one is too many so every subcategory not every subcategory will have a product category so we got to use uh, left outer this is the answer because left outer would ensure that for each row in the subcategory you may or may not have a product category which is what left outer join does it will give you everything from the left even if it gets a match here or no match if it is no match you get a null so this is my final answer so folks please hit the subscribe icon to be alerted whenever i post such informative content this is the brand new playlist where we are discussing pl 300 power bi related certification questions stay tuned for the next part see you in the next part